you so much for clicking on this video please from please watch this video listen to it i'll be back weapons show in mali yes you heard right from the 5th to the 11th of this month our country is hosting the first ever exhibition of turkish military equipment and weapons in west africa this large-scale exhibition is organized by the Turkish company Kanik in partnership with six other companies specializing in the field of armaments. For seven days, specialists will be exhibiting heavy weapons, 12.5mm and 14.5mm guns, automatic pistols, transmission equipment and latest generation grenades. Yes, families, you had right. Weapons exhibition in Mali. This was going on since 5th. Like he said, it's going to end today. I have this video for the past three days. I forgot about it. This morning, I said, let me share with my family what is going on in Mali. I was like, wow, our president was in China, you know, shopping for ammunition. And here we are with different ammunitions from Turkey and some other countries having exhibition. The whole West Africa, that's the place. Where are the peaceful countries? Where are they? I guess because America is not in it. That's why they are in Mali. And according to the Minister of Defense, it will help them a lot. Please listen to more. Watch it. I'm amazed how the machines are. <laughs> I'll be back, family. The latest generation grenades. In a dynamic geostrategic context. As security challenges become increasingly sophisticated, it is imperative that we equip ourselves with the most modern and appropriate resources to strengthen our defense and security capabilities. The materials and equipment available for exploration. Thanks to Seven Days illustrates not only cutting-edge innovations, but also the know-how of exhibiting companies. Public order and national security very often depend on the weapons held by our military visionaries, and today, to adapt to regalian missions, our defense and security forces have embarked on a asterisk transformation. Hence the army's increasing power. This transformation is now a reality, thanks to the acquisition of modern, appropriate air land equipment and resources. The results achieved by our defense and security forces in the field have also been possible thanks to the sincere, win-win partnerships between Mali and friendly countries such as the Russian Federation. China and Turkey with whom we have acquired large and impressive quantities of war materiel in recent years. Thanks to all these efforts and visible successes, Mali is now cited in Africa and around the world as an historic model. An example, an envied reference and a hope we'll need. The fight against terrorism is a long-term one. It is won, among other things, by combativeness, vigilance, alertness, intelligence, anticipation, determination, commitment, proactivity and reactivity, and by stepping up. An army is essentially based on human and material resources, i.e. well-trained, battle-hardened and well-equipped men. And this is perfectly in line with the strategic vision of the present president, head of state and supreme commander of the armed forces. And I can assure you that he is watching over it on a daily basis. It is with these words of hope and the prospect of success that I declare open the largest demonstration of military equipment ever organized in Africa by the Canic Company. At the National Police Headquarters firing range, military leaders demonstrated the firing of heavy weapons. looking at those machines the way they were pumping them using them i'm even scared sometimes i wonder why we should have all this but some people do not want peace and so if you don't have it those who have it have power over you and every country need to have it to protect themselves it is sad but it is what it is 
thinking that this thing is going to delete a lot of people. <sighs> but it is what it is. I said that already. I don't know what to say much about this video rather than to share it with families have decided to add another video to this yes we are still in mali this is about a parachute and it comes with history it comes with reward according to the news every year 5th of september they celebrate and give an award even to the retired parachute they give an award today i think it is amazing thing to do not to forget even the headline people who has led the way to this time so please watch this video i'll be back congratulations did you know that it was on september 5th 1961 that the first malian soldier made a parachute jump and every year this event is celebrated by the parachute commandos let's see how this year's event was magnified time goes by but the parachute commando spirit remains strong and their professionalism improves 63 years after the Malian soldier's first jump, on September 5, 1900. 61 years on, the commitment of the men of the 33rd Parachute Commando Regiment has not aged a bit, and the SEALs are still going strong on this anniversary. Some of the challenges remain. They know nature better than anyone once they're out of the plane. No more standing back, even if the state is capricious in this month of September, it's time to settle down. A tribute was paid to those who made the ultimate sacrifice by the Deputy Chief of the Armed Forces General Staff. Today is September 5th, the anniversary of the Prinstitutes, a historic day. On this occasion, I'd like to wish you a cordial. Welcome to Camp by Diploma. When are you coming? 17. Quit. I'd like to pay a lively tribute and a respectful part for my military comrade engaged in operations. Absolutely fine. Mission on Earth, Dear Baby Defense, Shapati plus the most powerful. I have to do town. Today, you promise me the day the newly independent husband's young girlfriend. Hey, it's all sweet solidarity thanks to the good support of the authorities we never seek from and sir all the time for the quality of traditional reinforcement but also equipment. General. Thanks to the EBNA human moment, to the military hierarchy at the highest, to the will for Sundays, I made in French in the resentment of our capacities as human as material that it finds here our whole availability for the conduct see Russia of the missions. To confine ourselves, the homeland is always grateful to its daughters and sons. That's why certificates of recognition were awarded to elements of the Parachute Commando Regiment, including General de Blagard Kiva, for their commitment and determination in carrying out their missions. Some former paratroopers also received certificates of recognition for their service to the nation. Yes, it is good to remember those who lead the way. It is good to remember those who are working hard to put this country together. Um, we have seen some of them before that went on the helicopter to jump down. They are doing a lot of jobs to clear the way for the army to 
you know, go to the forest and the bushes everywhere. So they are also doing a great job. It's good to recognize what they are doing and especially to be celebrating it every year. That is great. I'm happy to see that it's nice for me. I don't know about you. I will leave you here. Credit to RTB News and BFI. Once again, we are grateful for the news. God bless you all. My new uh, subscribers, my returning families, those who are passing by, thank you so, so much. If this is your first time, if I haven't said it yet, my name is Mamri, and you are very welcome to join this family. Please stay with us. If you are new here, please subscribe to join this lovely and beautiful family. Because here we share our opinions. I'm not the one that always talk. The information itself is always under the comment section. So please keep reading the comments. They are good. They are goodies there. I love reading them as well. I learn every day from the comment section. It's because of that that I keep doing what I'm doing. Without that, I don't think I'll be here. So please keep reading the comments like them so the people leaving the comments will also be happy knowing that they are people. Uh, reading their comments and supporting them. Together, we can all change the narrative. I'll be back again. Stay blessed. Have a great day. Bye-bye.